lot better. I remember, uh, I remember uh, when I started playing this again, um, like a, a year or two ago, probably what, like two years ago now, um, just noticing this, just the difference in, in how fast everything was. Like everything's been so opti so optimized. Let's just vote Ocean just to troll everybody. <laughs> We're an engineer. We're on Cogmap 2. Uh, I know what I'm going to do. I think I tried to show this off before, and it never happened, so I guess I'll do it now. I'm a parody... Make a ship. I can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> Nobody understands you. All right. I need a uh, pirate. Yar. Is he a pirate, though? Or does he just not know how to talk? I think it's the other one. Okay. I don't want anything else out here. Eh. Okay, let's uh, grab one of those. Uh, we'll grab pressure. One of those and two of these. I need some sheets. Uh. That's why I was trying to, but both really. <laughs> Need some shades. Okay. sheets in here? No. No sheets. Unless they're in this cart. Aha! Okay. He's got grit, gumption, and an adorable speech impediment. What's not to like? Alright. That's a detective's office. I like how he's surrounded by slot machines. I'm going to have to do some breaking. Let's see. What is this? Just a backyard. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Looks like it goes down. So. I'm not sure where the uh, loafer is on this map, but we'll find it. Oh, yes, we will. Alright, so it's coming from here. Okay, it goes this way. And then down. This is how you find out where pipes are going. Okay, it looks like it goes into the pool section. This is it here. Hi. Uh, sure. Okay, I have armor now. <laughs> Which that's like the head, the head of, it's like the HOPs or something, whatever. 
Dang, it's going, going down there, eh? Now, let's do a space walk. Do, 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 do. Damn it. For a spacewalk. Okay. We'll find it. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it goes in here. Aha! Found you. Alright, so now we know where it is. This down. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, smash computer. I don't need no stinking smash computer. All right. I'm not even sure what's going on. That's fine. So basically, I'm taking apart the loaf tube here. Now, do we have uh, just a place I could borrow a trunk section from? Oh, the pipe dispenser is like right here. That is handy. Now I'm going to build a pipe section onto it. All right. So basically I tracked down the loaf tube from the kitchen by looking at the pipes on the underfloor. The nice thing about the uh, engineer's... The nice thing about the engineer's... Um, scanner is that it functions as a, uh, a T-ray scanner. I mean, you can see you can see uh, what's underneath the floor tiles because like there's several different layers of, of stuff going on. So if you have the T-ray scanner, you can see it all. So like you can see here, like all these, t these little pipe sections are highlighted. If I turn my light off, it all goes away. So that helped me just find out where this this thing is. This is the disciplinary loaf processor. So I'm just building some railings now so that uh, the uh, contraption I'm about to build doesn't accidentally harm anybody because that can happen and then the admins won't like it. So we'll just do it that way. Now that I'm not distracted with all the curse with all the look at server list, what kind of shenanigans is happening? So I'm going to build a, a loaf machine. Da, da, da. So I got to wrench the flusher component down. Uh, let's see. You're going to need a teleporter. Pressure sensor. Okay. Let's wrench both of them down. Got the multi-tool. So now I'm going to set the teleporter ID to input. Connect the pressure to the teleporter. Trigger. Activate. Oh, wait, not, not to the teleporter. What am I doing? Disconnect all. Uh, pressure sensor. Pick up. Click. Connect to flusher. I saw, I saw one thing. Oh, no, that's no right disaster waiting to happen everywhere. <laughs> All right. So now this one here. I'm going to hop out of my little thing here. Now, you can always reach over these railings and do stuff. So you don't have to be standing on top of it to 
And this teleporter will be called uh, set ID. Oh, crap. Got to. Uh... Can I not? Let me just clear out the command bar. Okay, set teleporter ID. This will be. Oh, put... I should have brought. I should have brought another tele pressure sensor, but oh well. All right, so it's mostly set up. I need to come back and add a pressure sensor. Uh, where the heck am I? I don't want to slip on a banana peel. No choice. Oh dear. Okay. Well, avoided that. Let's see, where am I? Is this engineering? Okay. I'll see a lack of explosions so far. Yeah. It might be a quieter round, so probably like Spy Thief or something. Let's see. Gotta go back to mechanics. Gotta find mechanics. I think it's... Oh, good. I think I took the longest possible road. That's nice. A variety of flavors of gummy candies. What the heck? I don't know what people are even talking about. Talking about gummy candies. All right. So we need another pressure sensor. Uh, there we are. Naked person. Oh crap, I forgot. I si I signed up. What? All right. See so another teleporter here. Huh? Okay, I don't know what happened there. I suddenly was stuck going forward for some reason. All right. Uh sheets. No, I don't want to build girders. Right, let's build some railings. If you click far away, it'll change your your orientation, so that's useful. All right. So we put our sheets. Now well, let's wrench this guy. Ow! Ow! Get out! <laughs> wrench it down. All right. I need a uh, pressure sensor. Where is it? Put that in. Put that down. Gonna need a button. I will put it over here. Put it down. Turn that off. It's a bit distracting. Okay. Toggle component. So I'm building the loaf machine. It takes a little bit just to get it all set up. Um, and a delay. And then another delay. What's a loaf machine? Well... I think it'd be better if you saw it. <laughs> so let's see. We'll go trigger. So toggle. That's what I've I've spent the past five days teleporting bread TF2 soldier. <laughs> All right. So the on signal. Go to input. And off signal. Fine. It can just be one. It's fine. Trigger. Delay. Uh, connect. Teleport. Set ID. Stop blinking. 
this one. Uh, Sound signal. Set the way. No, I just need to connect. That's what I need to do. Oh, I heard, I heard someone telesciencing around. That's not good. Click. That one activates. Delays here. I'll do my best to explain this once I finish building it. <laughs> Component. But this is mech comp stuff. It gets a little bit, gets a little bit uh, confusing. So I'm gonna toggle signal changing here. Set delay. Set. Uh, no, I just want to go. Uh, set send signal. Be in. Back to input. All right, last thing I got to do, because I forgot, I got to bring a pressure sensor with me all the way back to the other place. Let's just make sure that all this is working. Uh, oh, what's if I... Oh, and I probably also have to actually set up the pressure sensor. I didn't think to do that. Is it bad that in response to that bridge announcement, go to the AI core and say, Law 4, the captain's nerd, laugh at him? Because <laughs> I was... <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Uh-oh. Don't, don't go in there. I'm just... Two baller. Got him. There we go. All right. Or actually, wait. That's not what I wanted. Disconnect all. And just do this. Trigger. Uh, send is what I want. And. Trigger. Toggle. I don't know if it's actually triggering or not. Let's find out. There it goes. Oh, I should change it to output actually. Uh, okay, that part all works. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's head back. And I'll take the short way. Shorter way, anyway. Did you remember the pressure sensor? Yeah, I got it in my hand. Got to take it all the way over. Do, 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 do. Telesci nerds are doing telesci things. Da, da, da. Wait, why did I just walk by engineering? That's where I needed to go. Alright, so I don't want to be running around back here because... Uh... Oh. Oh, dang it. Oh, well, good thing I have another... Oh, no, I... right here. All right. So let's throw the pressure sensor in. Pressure. Wrench it down. And then I got to connect it to the teleporter. Left click. Connect. And teleport component. Activate. All right. 
I'll just pick up a loaf. Oh, did I not set the ID of the teleporter component? Uh... Da, da, da. No. All right, try that. Ugh, flipping so mad. Okay, disconnect. Right click, pick up, connect, hit OK. Right click, teleport, connect, pick. Activate. Oh. Oh, and then make sure you single click on the multi tool to stop linking, because, yeah, ugh, most annoying thing. All right, I'm not sure why it's not, why they're not going anywhere. I'll take one of these with me. Gotta troubleshoot it. Oop, I don't wanna go up to space. Do, do, do. So what's supposed to happen is you throw the loaf into that first teleporter that built the mechanics. It gets teleported over to the loafer, goes through the loafer, which that and that part works because we saw two loaves there. And then it comes back to mechanics and then, and then mechanics beams it back over into the first one. So it gets loafed again. So I'm not sure why it's not working. Uh, maybe because this one has to start at output, and it is set to output. So, what's the, what the heck? But unfortunately, as is the case with mechanics contraptions, sometimes things just don't work out, and you got to figure out why. Still not working, so now I gotta go all the way back and see if I can figure it out. Alright. A little bit a little bit faster route. Okay, so got the teleport component here. Still getting set to one. Whoa, don't do not. Ugh. My guy just tried to climb over the railing. All right, there it goes. Now it's working. So you see, it comes through, makes this horrible noise, gets beamed out. Okay, but then it didn't come back. All right, well, we're getting there. So one of the things with mechanics is that it is very easy to just mess up. And then the contraptions just don't work. It said one again. Did it? Did it say one again? I didn't notice. Oh, yeah, ID changed to one. Uh, so the issue here is that the right-click interface for these teleporters is the most annoying thing I've ever worked with. And they have to do something about it. I don't know what they're going to do, but it's the most annoying thing. So now I have to go pick up left click, have to disconnect all. Because right now, the pressure plate is trying to set the ID to 1. So, and I don't want to change the ID. So now, I have to click here, pressure sensor, pick up left click. Have to connect component. Okay. Right click again. Teleport component. Pick up left click. Activate. That's all I want it to do. But now I've got to make sure I click this. Otherwise, I'm going to try to change the ID back, and it's not going to work. Okay, so set this back to output. You know what? I'll just, just as a little insurance policy, set send signal. There. <laughs> all right. Give me this floor sign. 
Oh my god. I, I, I don't know why it will do why it keeps doing that. Uh is this one connected to it somehow? Hold on, let's just uh set send signal. Just start sending them all to output <laughs> until you figure out which one's doing it. Oh, it's not going to work. i got to change the thing back. Uh, I bet you one of the other ones is connected to it. And I just don't know which one. Actually, here, you know what I should do? Disconnect all from the teleporter component. And then connect. Activate. Click. I bet you that's what I did wrong. All right, there. I think it's working now. Yeah. So see, it's just going over and over again. Ugh. All right. So that's fine. That's doing its thing now. We can head back to mechanics and watch the magic from there. So, of course, the question is, why would I even want to do that? What's, what's the point? What am I doing? Well, it's actually kind of cool. So we see here, this is going on and on and on. And eventually, it's going to come out. Now, I put this button in here so that I could stop it. See? You see it says ID changed to zero. So that's helpful. So look, it's the dense prison loaf now. And if you examine it, it has some fun properties. Uh, has three damage. I can hit somebody for three damage with this, and three thrown damage, and twenty and twenty uh, stamina damage, which is quite a bit. All right, let's turn my button back. All right. The other reason is that that's uh, that's actually a death trap and waiting. It would not be hard to just go in the halls and start putting input teleporters around, but we're not going to do that. We're a good boy. <laughs> Unless we do do it. <laughs> but yeah. So now we're just gonna wait until we get. Uh, this takes a little bit, but you get some. You get. You're gonna get some diverse loaves. Or change it though, but to fling it down the hallway. <laughs> that too. That's also a. That is also a good trick. Um. So we'll see them start to change in a bit. Yeah, it usually doesn't take me 27 minutes to make this thing. It just does when you have like weird errors due to like misclicking stuff. Let's see what the other mechanics have done. Nothing there. What do we got? Microwave blueprint, portal ring, hand telly. Ah. <laughs> uh. I've heard a bit about loaf shenanigans. Mr. Green's here. Extra dense prison loaf. All right, well, it's got a little bit to go. Uh, well, we wait for that. Let's, uh... Oh, people are getting crushered. What do you even do? It's not going to work. Whatever. Chief Engineer threatened to blow up Art Lab if Art Lab was unused. Uh, let's see. I want network tools. I'll show off some other stuff. Some other nerdy stuff you can do. Oh, that guy just took a swing at me with something. Yeah, he backed off once uh, he realized I was going to go to a public place. Too scary. Oh, you see now it's got a little border. Okay. So we put our network tools disk in there. So I'm going to go log in. Oh, come on. 
Now, the command to access the floppy drive files is drive FD0. Um, if I go LS, there's a few different programs on here. The main one I want is Frog. So what Frog does is it emulates the terminal system. So now we can use like wired mainframe stuff. So I'm going to go term ping. Really? Maybe we've been disconnected from the network? That's interesting, because normally that would give you way more results. Oh dear. Well, it looks like it's only picking up the printer, so it looks like uh, it's been disconnected, but you can't... Oh geez, there's a spatial terror. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise it is possible to get some interesting... Uh, Interesting stuff going on in the wired network. I was going to prank call the AI. This thing, it just prevents you from going across it. That's that's all it does. <laughs> yep. My enemy. Ooh, he's going to do some uh, signal check stuff. Oh, yeah, and they're monkeys, so they can just go right over the thing. These monkey players, man. All right, here, let's stop it. So, so now we've got 24 damage. Fusion loaf. Forget fission. The flavor atoms in this loaf are so densely packed now that they've undergone... They're undergoing atomic fusion. What terrifying new flavor at atoms might lurk within? Uh, the answer is don't eat it. That's the answer. It will, it will actually not be good for you. <laughs> None of the loaves are great to eat. Oh, just an inconvenient spatial tear. What happens if it spawns on top? I don't know if it can. Imagine if it did, it would just do the same thing that regular stuff does that spawns on top of you. It would... Uh, it, you would just be on top of it. You could go either way. Uh, one cool thing, though, is that the rancher's fishing rod, you can actually fish stuff out of the spatial terror. And it'll be like kind of space things, not just fish. So that's pretty cool. I hear telescience nerdery going on. Oh, well, what is it now? A neutron loaf. 32 damage. The clown will probably eat the loaf. Probably. This also makes a good garbage disposal. <laughs> What's going on? Loaf. <laughs> What's going on, loaf? He just leaves. They have like three empty shells. Just put me inside one. Are you? Not that kind of shell. I feel like getting publicly announced as a th rookie thief is less than ideal. <laughs> Briskly leaves. Yeah. Quark loaf, 44 damage. I think we can go one more. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just get rid of some of the random garbage. It has gained sentience. I wonder how this is going to be harnessed for the engine. It can't. I mean, I think you, you can feed it to the uh, furnace. I don't know what it would do, though. Loafer engine. <laughs> uh, that would be great. I guess I am an engineer. I could I could take it over there. Oh, there we go. I think that's the final the final form. So fifty five damage. So you can't break you can't break reinforced walls with this. Or walls with this. It, that that is something that the wiki says, but it's not true. But let me find a door that nobody will care if I break. Jeez. Da, da, da. Hellburn toast. Oh yeah, you can't put you can't put it in your pockets or anything. Which is, let me tell you, mightily inconvenient sometimes. Uh, clown office door? I could just use this door. Or any doors here, I'm sure, are fine. Oh yeah, they've been somebody's been cutting cables. Just to see if I can break this door with it. Yeah. Uh. Damn it! I'm like, I want to like show off like breaking stuff with this thing because it is possible. You can break windows pretty easily. See, didn't take anything. Took like four hits. <laughs> I think he's a friendly spider. The hat and tell he's just here. <laughs> you can break vending machines. Let us use the fuel loaf. Da, da, da. It can disappear. I mean, an unfriendly is just going to get turbo wrecked by a loaf of bread. <laughs> ah! Clown spiders. Clown spiders? Nope. Oh, what, I'm trying to feed him? You. Me. Can I test this on you? Test what? Uh, no. <laughs> Wants to just shoot me? Can I shoot you with this? How about no? Ugh, no air in here anywhere. Why is it always like this? Okay, well, it looks like engineering's broken, so I'm not gonna feed my loaf to a broken engine. There's a non zero chance a volunteer will be found. Ugh. So 
So yeah, the form that the loaf takes after this is uh, one that flies around and hits people and kills them. So we don't want to uh, we don't want to do that. <laughs> Freaking drugs. I have no idea where it could come from. Chapel. Nothing going on here. Can you deep fry it? Probably. Probably. Although I don't think I, I, it doesn't really do anything. It just uh, turns into a deep fried loaf. Guys, I think I may have been kidnapped. I found an AKM in the hallway. Maybe that's what you wanted to test on me. The psycho. The HOP left an ID in the ID computer machine, so, uh... <laughs> captain, Captain, here we go! Think! If you were a clown, I would suggest press string cargo for an animal crate to make magic disappear a hat of a hat label. <laughs> there we go. We'll let that go for a little bit. Make some more loaves. Well, I hope the loaf finds a good home. I'm off to sleep. All right, Totem. Thanks for stopping by. Sleep well. Uh, welding fuel. It's just sitting here. I should get some healing since I'm here. This guy just build computer, teleport computers everywhere. Convenience. We live in the modern age. <laughs> Someone said something about an AKM. That's always something you want to hear. I assume they're talking about the one in the hallway. Fifty-five damages, meaning two hits from this is enough to put you into into crit. Med kit storage locker. I'm just gonna start bashing this with a loaf. I want to see how long it takes for it to come open. There we go. <laughs> see? You can open lockers with that. Cape! So yeah, if you want to open up lockers... Just get yourself a, a loaf. You can open them up. That guy's dead. Uh, he can't be cloned. <laughs> He's not getting cloned. A peery putt. What the heck is going on? Solars. Without any idea of direction I'm going to play in the art lab. <laughs> I mean, sure. R.I.P. Your bravest sec off. There's the art lab. Oh, he's got quite a few artifacts going on in there. How come I can see in there through this wall? That's a bit weird. Ooh, 
Fancy room. Disc lamp. Da, 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 da. Busy. See if the kitchen... No one listens to the AI. Even when the AI is shouting at you. Poor Ayu. Ayu. Bah. Eh. Who needs them? Uh. Oh, it's a monkey. Okay. Jeez. Cargo. Um. Yeah, those little miasma dots. Do not punch the explode or it will explode. AI. So released a bunch of plasma and lit the en lit it in the engine observation room. So that area is pretty effed. still going whoa I don't think uh, adding more stuff to it makes it go any faster, but I'd have no idea. Well, there's quite a bit of viscerite. Even some Uquil. Miner's been busy. Uh, it doesn't. It do I don't think it sells for anything. I guess I gotta go to cargo and find out, but I really don't think it does. Sadly, its only use is for being an obscenely powerful melee weapon. <laughs> Well, off he goes. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Buttle vote. Loaf. Destroy computers. Waluigi. <laughs>
I'm perma stunned. Did the legworm sting me? Or is it the ling? Why would we need to escape? Well, I've been like perma stunned somehow. I have no idea how. I came out here to attack a legworm. It could be there's a like, CO2 gas here. Could be that. I don't know. Well, if it does, it's not my fault. I just came out here and then they decided to beat me up. If it does gain sentience, uh, that delay, that one second, that, that two second delay is long enough for it to start flying around and hurting people and hurt people. And it won't be put back into the loafer. So, yeah. I have no idea what happened to me. Yeah, if I got stunned or penned or what. I'll just succumb when it, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there, it's a generate loaf already. <laughs> So we'll see it. We'll see it turn. Oh god. Oh god, he gived me <laughs> with my own loaf. Well, you're gonna wish you didn't do that. <laughs> Geneticist stole your loaf. He did, and he gived me with it. That's why you have to strike first. I think the big problem was, um, uh, for some reason, when you attack people with it, um, it tries to feed certain people with it. And I don't know why. I had a, a, a harm intent, so I didn't think it would. Well, there it is. Oh. What? Well, Buffalo's down here now, so I'm talking to her at the same time. Oh, so you see, it didn't come back out. And that's because it went back over to the other end and is now in the now probably roaming around the maintenance corridors. Let's go find it. But yeah, when I tried to attack people with it, it, it tried to feed them. Oh wow. So it actually did get reloafed, and now it's an Einstein Rosen loaf. So this is um this is actually the loaf you need uh, if you want to get um, those uh, those uh, negative matter closets that you see people build sometimes. So, yeah. So that's nice. Nobody will ever find it there. Soon, the loafing. <laughs> and that's actually the end product. If you re-loaf that one, it'll just turn back into a regular loaf. It's a circle. Geneticist took my loaf and gibbs me with it. What a jerk. Geneticists are the worst. I was hoping for loaf violence. Who isn't? Who wasn't? I hate geneticists so much. <laughs> I was happy the last time I got to I got to mail bomb genetics. This is Zambi. Yeah. Zambi's here. Chillin'. Trying to be chill in this horrifying station. What about mine, Rude? Hopefully they were an antag. Yeah. Although, dead bodies, it is not against the rules to give a dead body as a, as a non-antag. I'm going to try eating you. Uh, wh what? Uh, 
Um, yum. Whoa. Gibbs. The cube is still there. Ghost honey? Wild. So infinite honey cube time. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> I wonder if other people see ghosts. I'm curious about this too. <laughs> the ghost in the cube. Oh, hell. You do nice. <laughs> you too, Bozo. <laughs> Gotta make a collection. important to have goals maybe I should give it a zero cooldown first oh god yep <laughs> I like the ghost throw that's pretty good. God, this is funny. <laughs> the ghost drone one looks particularly good. Oh, shuttle just kind of collected them all. Oop. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> you too. That's four. <laughs> Yep. Oh my, that's bad. There's a shambler in there. See? Now, if somebody had a loaf, they could uh, go and try to fight him. Does a lot of damage. You could probably, uh, you could probably beat up a shambler with it, but, well. Your chickens, no. I gave it in good faith. You cannot do this. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, I like how the uh, the cubes are the cubes were in a cross formation. No, oh. energy shield artifact, which unfortunately means they're all stuck in there with the shambler. Oh, he's he's unshambled. He's done for. The evil is defeated. So how many are dead? Burgers. Uh, what is going on with this cube? Let's see here. Kill them all. No one escapes. It's the law there. A couple changelings. Actually, that's why it was, seemed to be a quieter mound. Those changelings running around doing changeling stuff. I remember whoever runs that, this company just looks at the end of the round, reports its size. <laughs> Probably. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll leave that up on the screen. I have to uh, be right back.
You want to put a banging dunk on it? 